Hooked up. So our fishermen feel like finally, some, you know, a system has been created, a program has been created for land lovers, for them to experience fish the way that fishermen. So they love the fact that, you know, people are experiencing fishermen's fish. It's the safest, freshest, healthiest seafood that you can get. Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm a co-founder of Dock to Dish, which is a community-supported fishery, the original community-supported fishery here on Long Island. And uh, we're headquartered in Montauk, New York, with uh, our processing facility is here in Shinnecock. What we've really done is just a revival of the way things have been throughout the course of history. So like, a fisherman comes to the dock and kind of sells his fish to the land people. Over the course of our civilization or you know um, this country specifically the current way that fish goes to market can be really kind of convoluted and that there's this chain of custody where it will pass through anywhere between like six and ten or twenty different hands before it gets from the fisherman to the consumer so each time that it changes hands in that chain of custody it price goes up and quality goes down. So by the time that people are getting their fish, typically it can be a very low quality, very high priced item. So we just eliminated that whole big section and have really one link in the chain of custody and that's fishermen, myself and our team, Dr. Dish and our members. So it's just one, two. We've found that, that locally there are, you know, a whole bunch of different species that we can feature to members that they say, like, I've never had this before. Uh, you know, where is tilefish? Where, where is, are these fish coming from? They're, they're locally um, harvested. We, we highlight one species per week. And so, you know, we've, we've highlighted over 15 different species, but we have the option, depending on the week or the season, um, you know, there's, 20 different species probably locally that we could be electing to feature that week. Um, the 24 hour rule from us, from the dock to the dish. So we can't speak for when a fish was caught at sea. It may sometimes take two days, three days, even the word, the term day boat is just the name of the boat. It's day boat caught, but it's out there for seven days or 10 days. So we know that at sea, our fishermen are keeping the brine bath, that they're keeping the fish preserved in a, in a pristine state. But we can't really speak to, it would be impossible to do same day caught, but to do the 24 hours from the dock to the dish really is where when fish comes back on land, when it hits the dock, that's really where we see the hourglass turn upside down for that freshness factor. True convenience is you go to the market whenever you want and look in the fish glass. If you want to go at 8 in the morning, you want to go at 11 at night and just say what is behind the glass, that's what you're going to have. Probably the next step convenience beyond that these days is ordering on your computer and having like your groceries delivered. That's really super convenient. So for us, no, there is a layer of inconvenience that, you know, our members have to put up with and tolerate, but they're making trade-offs. They're saying what they're experiencing on, on a freshness factor trumps species, trumps convenience, trumps a, a number of things that's making that trade-off worthwhile for them. And they're loving it. Fishmen in our alliance are very excited about their fish, about being accountable for their specific fish. Because in the other system, all the fishermen just contribute to a pool. I went only exclusively with fishermen that I knew and I trust, and for the most part that I had fished with over years. And so I knew their techniques, I knew their, um, you know, 
just good friends for the most part. But now we're at a stage where I get regularly calls, emails, and pings on the back of the website from fishermen who are like, you know, we want to get involved. We've heard great things from guys that we trust and, you know, we want to get involved in the network. So right now we're actually operating, which is a huge relief to me, with an alliance of over 40 local commercial fishermen. And it's kind of this big expanding network of a fisherman's alliance of really good, trustworthy artisans. These are the guys who really, you know, they care about what they do. It's a big process for us. Same day sourced seafood may sound simple, but operationally it can be chaos. The reality is that if we're working with one boat and we're sourcing from just one boat, then we're having a really lucky day. If we're having a not so lucky day, then we're sourcing from seven or eight different boats. And on average, we probably source from three to four different boats in any given source day for us. It really is this kind of big Rubik's cube that we have to get right every single week. So we know that Friday, we source from our fishermen after one o'clock, we process Friday night, and then we have it available for pickup beginning at one o'clock on Saturday. So that little bit of a system, that CSA kind of model that we borrowed, seems to have been, you know, the kind of key to the lock or the last piece to the puzzle to make this really cool program be able to flourish in this market. I think people are now realizing, um, when they're experiencing Dr. Dish, the drastic differences to what um, they may be getting in their supermarket or from, their, from elsewhere versus what they're experiencing with Dr. Dish. There certainly is an element of surprise, and we often get this question. People will say, like, what have you done to this? You know, what have you done to this fish that's making it look this way, taste this way, the texture is different, and so, the real beauty of our program is that our answer is genuinely nothing. Our members <clears throat> have really pushed, kind of led this charge for almost disregarding some of the recipes and, and experiencing like our, their crudos, their ceviches, their sashimis, there's like, um, there's this really serious like um, kind of trends that they've begun where they don't use heat and this celebration happens. Our wait list for, um, you know, we sold out all of our memberships in June for this year and started a wait list and that sold out all of next summer's. Our Dr. Dish Fish speaks for it itself and so we hear that a lot from people too. A great mentor told me, if you're, uh, when your product speaks for yourself, don't interrupt it. So, yes. I should probably shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah. <laughs> right, I do. But you'd be surprised, like we work in fish, like in the off season, I probably have, you know, fish two to three nights a week. Um, and yeah. often fish that I catch, yeah. So, or that one of my friends is catching, you know, and it's like, uh, so we get Dr. Dish regularly. And it, what's really interesting to see is that after a long, like tonight, the guys will probably go out for burgers because we're so in, you know, entrenched in fish and fish you know, filleting, processing, we all smell like fish that like at the end of the day, our, the opposite of like our members are like, yay, fish, and we're like, where is the pizzeria? Because um, it's interesting how that happens. Like honestly, you know, uh, we do get our own shares every week, everyone on my team, but for the most part when Saturday comes, it's like, let's hit, uh, you know. Steak uh, night. Steak night, <laughs> yeah. I'm Tom Colicchio. There you go. <laughs> now I'm in the food business. My true passion is fishing. I've been invited to go sport fishing with Tom. What kind of fish are we going to catch in this New York harbor is what I'm wondering. You're not going to believe why I'm here today. I want to catch a big one. Put me in the ring with a good one, dude. I'm going to see if I can stuff it. <laughs> <laughs> and mount it on our wall. <laughs> Chefs are nuts and they are partiers. <laughs> 